G'day everyone, Matt from Panda Garage here. Today we've got a job on the cruise. Now it's not the normal job that we'd be doing. Usually we're trying to repair something that's broken, but in this case, we're actually just doing a general service thing. So um, yesterday got some fresh tires. The tread absolutely looks amazing on them. Sorry that they're a bit dirty, but as you can see, we haven't exactly been in the best weather lately. So today we're actually going to be redoing all the brake pads on the car. Um, it's something I've just been needing to do. I was speaking to the guy at the tyre shop. He said the front ones weren't too bad. It was the rear ones that were starting to go. But I thought, you know what, we'll do them all at once. So that's what we're doing today. I've already got the wheels off and the, all the wheel nuts off. Everything off. Wheels are here, as you can see, because I didn't need any more experts telling me how to jack up a car because it's the most simple thing on earth. You can do it however you want to. But join me on Panda Garage here today. We're going to change some brakes and uh, do it with a little other bits and pieces. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so today, I'm going to be taking these calipers off. I've got the front of the car jacked up already. Um, everything's moving pretty freely. It was when the wheels were on there. It was a pain in the butt. I forgot to uh, disconnect, uh, take the uh, <laughs> loosen the bolts off before we uh, jacked the car up. So that was a bit of a task. But we're here now. Got all that. There's just two bolts at the back from memory. Just one here, one down there, and then we'll uh, slide the caliper off. Put the new brake pads in, uh, and then we'll move on to the rear. So uh, let's get started. Looks like I got it off. <laughs> Took a while, but as you can see, the actual brake pads are decent on the front, but they're loose. They're getting chipped on the corners for some reason. It's really bizarre. I'm not sure why that is the case. I have to have a look at these discs, but this definitely needs a tidy up. I'm just having a look at the brake pads and seeing if there's any branding on them. I can't see anything. I'm not too sure who made these ones, but we're putting on Bendix ones. So hopefully they uh, fix our problem up. So we'll uh, get the cleaner and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so these are our old disc brakes. As you can see there, and these are our new ones. So they've got about half their life left in them, but apparently the rears are pretty bad. So we're going to uh, just switch them out for peace of mind. Now these ones are Calibre ones. They're made by Bendix brakes. Um, now, if you need the code for your cruise, it's DB1989. Um, will pretty much be the exact same code for all um, different styles of brakes. They usually run with the same code. But uh, the rear ones are 1990, I believe. Also, what we're going to use this time as well is um, disc brakes wheel free. You put it on the back of here just so it uh, doesn't move around, leaves it tacky. I'm going to actually do this with the Monaro and the Jeep at some point because um, I've never used that stuff and now our brakes are squealing, so I want to uh, get rid of that. So I'm going to get those stuck in. We've just sprayed all this with uh, brake cleaner. As you can see, it's all end up on the ground. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, push the cylinder down a bit as well to fit the new brakes in too. Okay, so as you can see by my hair, it's wet now. Um, as you would have seen in the last clip, or... Uh, part of it at least. I um, accidentally squeezed a bit too hard on that bottle and it went everywhere, all over the bottle, all through my hair. My gloves are completely covered in it. I had to wipe it off on there. Complete disaster. So uh, yeah, should have tried and squeezed it with the cover on it, but I thought maybe it had something coordinate and yeah, my rookie mistake. So 
had to quickly wash it all off because it can irritate your skin so it's very important it's all like, through my hair up like it was a mess so i'm a mess right now this is not working out the way i hoped it but uh we'll get some more gloves on and we'll uh, continue putting these brake pads in this car just seems to just chuck out stuff continuously all right so i've got the brake pads sitting in there pretty nicely now got all that uh gunk squ anti squeal stuff on there so that's all in we have just got to try and slide our uh, I think we've still got to squeeze this a little bit more my day okay brake pads are back on probably went a bit too crazy with the old uh, anti squeal stuff but that's because it exploded everywhere so I'm hoping I've still got enough to do the other cars but uh, we're gonna get started on the other side now won't go too much into that because it's pretty much the same as this I'll uh, be saving you guys for the rear brake so yeah it's pretty straightforward just two bolts at the back of you just remove that snap out your old brake pads put in your new ones put your anti squeal on there snap it back into position, tighten them up, and then uh, that's pretty much it. So it's pretty straightforward how to do these brakes. So I'll uh, get started on the other side, and then uh, we'll get move on to the rear. All right, as you can see, we've got that all sorted out now. Um, I might spray it down one more time with uh, just brake and parts cleaner, just to make sure everything's uncontaminated. Now, the difference with this side that I did um, is that I left the top bolt on, so you can actually swing the whole caliper up and um, that's one way of doing it or you can remove both sides either way uh, it doesn't matter but um, yeah that's all sorted out now we're going to move on to the back so I'm going to uh, uh, take this off the jacks put the wheels back on and then next time we see each other we'll be uh, getting the rears done so um, I think they're the ones that actually need the most work too so we'll get stuck into it alright so we're on the back brakes now I've taken off the wheels of course these brake pads actually look like they're worse for wear in comparison so just having a look there's some unique bits and pieces to this braking system there seems to be like a big sort of like balancer on the rear brake here I'm not sure what that actually does to be honest and um, might be some part of the pan brake system maybe I'm not sure but what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the top bolt and um, hopefully it can swing downward and I don't have to uh, muck around with trying to get all that removed so we'll see if that's in fact the case and let's hope it is oh my gosh Stuck on. I have to go in for reinforcements. There we go. Hopefully, they can just. It doesn't want to. <clears throat> oh my gosh. It's a braking system that I haven't completely come across before. I'll take a little bit to work out what the heck is going on here. As you can see, it's like a weird, this thing, I've never actually seen one of these on a brake set up before. And now I'm just trying to work out how this loosens off like your traditional brakes, but... Hmm. 
What's the handbrake stopping me from moving it? Not too sure. Uh, I'll get back to you guys. I'm going to try and work this out. So that is literally hitting metal, like especially at this side, that's been hitting metal. That's why that brakes are a little bit worse for wear. Actually, um, especially around the top, you can see it's oops, there's no brake pad left. There's absolutely no brake pad left. Inside one's a little bit better, but that is definitely why our brakes haven't been feeling too flashy back ones they've been out of balance by the looks of it so what I ended up doing is that you could unscrew one bolt but you couldn't get the bottom bolt so what I did was I, I unscrewed that bolt it's just a 10 millimeter there's a bolt behind here that connects the uh, actual like brake line that is um, at 8 millimeter so I undid those and it gave me enough space to do this so I'm going to uh, push all this back in um, just push the cylinder back, just drain out the uh, excess out of the uh, master cylinder and then um, we'll be able to clean all this up and put our new brake pads so in. show you comparison. That is what... That's the inner one, which is this one. Look at the difference in that, that's how it's supposed to be. And that's what it's become. That one's even worse though. That's, that's your front brake pad. Uh, I mean the front, the outside one, that's the inside one. So it's been hitting steel. So I'm still trying to push in the cylinder. Um, what I usually use here is a G clamp, um, but it's not quite working. Of course, it's being the cruise. It fights every single thing we ever do to this thing. So I'm going to get back to you guys once I work this all out. It's actually a four-way piston tool, and um, we're going to be using that to push this in. But first thought we'd actually change it up instead of taking off this screw because you can't remove the rear one so we're trying to work out you actually remove this two screws here there's one here I'm actually going to remove the bottom one we'll take this whole thing off and then uh, we can get started Alright, so we've got this off, both screws are off, it's actually quite hard to get those off. Uh, they're locked in there pretty tightly. But this is our adapter. It should fit into those little slots just there. Hopefully. I just don't know what one it is. I did say to the guy at the store that out of all the six styles you can buy on this most likely none of them will fit and it's starting to look like that might be just my reality which I'm going to lose it because the, uh, this car has been nothing but trouble to me pretty much since day dot and safe to say I am at my wits end when it comes to what to do with this monstrosity of a vehicle. It's not looking like this is gonna fit. Right, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna try and work this out. Even if I have to try and make something, 
I'm going to damn well get this thing fixed because it's pissing me off. I don't understand why these cars have to be designed this way. Why not have the same design on the front as the back? I just don't understand. Okay, so it's been a little bit more time. Got my cup of tea. I've uh, said a few uh, bad words or two uh, in regarding this car, point directly at it, but I have finally got it in. Now, the tool that I picked up from Repco actually was completely wrong, so don't buy it. person there was useless. Um, I said that it would be probably right that I'll end up having to bring this back because it won't be the right size for my thing. It's got six different options on here, not one of them for this car. So. The way I got around it, if you get stuck and you don't have a special tool to do it, I have just used what part of these lockable pliers. I just grab on the outside and I've been turning it. Is it the best way to do it? Um, probably best to have the tool, but um, it has saved me from uh, leaving this for an extra few days. I've just realized I've got a hole in my glove. I'm wearing gloves because it's like this brake pad stuff is such a mess. There's all up my arm and everything, but I've wound that in. I'm going to tidy this all up. Hopefully the brake pads fit. Now, I don't have to wind that back any further, and then we can button this all back up and then go on the other side now that we know what we're doing. Okay, like the fool I am, I have uh, forgot to put the camera on while I was talking, but I have finally fixed this. We've got it all the way in, which is awesome. I end up having to use, where is it? There, those locking plies, because that adapter was wrong. So, um, of course, it had to be one of the ones that don't fit. It's got six options on that and not one of them for this. So we've cleaned it all up. I've just sprayed it with breaking parts cleaner, um, tidied it up a little bit. And now we're um, going to test fit the brake pads. I'm just going to put some of this anti-squeal in them. And, uh, well, yeah, we're going to go from there and then button this all up and we'll get on to the other side. No, oh, jeez, it's all going well here, isn't it? I've had about enough of this car, to be honest. I don't really want it in my life anymore. Alright, that's in. Let's go on the other side. Hopefully that's wound back enough. cars just participate. Oh. Come on, don't tell me it's just... Oh my god. It's not there. Fridge magnets, come on. Sure enough, you're just wide enough, you prick. You're just wide enough. Of course you're not. You're a cruise. You're a Holden cruise that is no good. You're one of the worst cars ever made. You garbage. Zero dis zero respect for any engineer that worked on this car. Could not care less. You are should be ashamed of yourselves to release such a piss piss poor product. This is the perfect example of a piss poor product. I 
would love for GM to come back to me and tell me exactly how much money they actually saved cost cutting this much. This is why no one buys anything of the GM brand anymore. They've just lost complete respect, especially in this country. The Holden brand name's nearly dead because <laughs> of all the decisions GM make. <laughs> They're fucking stingy. They only care about... Oh, they only fucking care about the bottom end. What are they going to get out of it? Let's just keep building piss poor products. The people will keep fucking buying them, won't they? They'll just eat it up, won't they? They're not anymore. They've lost complete respect in this country. Oh, how did I fucking have this up before? I don't know how I was holding it up. I don't know, I don't. I just want to wind it in just a little bit more. And now, I was on a roll. I'm going to turn you guys off. Okay, we got this damn sucker on. Took a bit of uh, winding it back a little bit further and... Uh, yeah, we got it on in the end. It just took a bit of, a uh, bit of, don't even know the word right now. My brain's so fried. Anyway, we've got this on. We're going to stay on the other side now. It's very tight at the moment, but we'll uh, get that fixed up in a little bit. Oh, let's go spray this down one more time with uh, park, uh, break some part cleaner and stuff, and then we'll get stuck on the other side. So it's many hours since I last checked in with you guys, and we finally got the last wheel done. Here it is. In all its bloody glory. It's taken me a lot longer to do this than I thought. Doing it by hand the way I've shown you is very, very difficult. So if you can get that uh, special piece, uh, it will make your life a little bit quicker. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to chuck all the wheels back on. You've guys already seen that before. So uh, thank you all so much. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, The Panda Garage, for all your spicy memes weekly and whenever I put up stuff. And uh, until next time, guys, my name's Matt. This has been Panda Garage. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. I'll add that in at the very end before the GoPro dies. Thank you all so much. Till next time, I'll see you soon.